Hello everyone, happy to see you here and in this video we're going to solve this really interesting exponential equation, we have x to the 4th power equal to 3 to the x. And on the first side this is very easy exponential equation because, because we have like no huge number, we have 4, we have 3, we have only our x, so nothing hard, we have on the left hand side x to the 4, 3 to the x on the right hand side, it looks like easy question. But I want to say that this is not like an easy question as you, as you can think because right here we need to know about 3 steps, how can we solve this question and I'm going to show these steps here in just few minutes so it will be really interesting. First of all we have x to the fourth power which is really great because we can easily take natural log. So natural log on this on the left hand side x to the fourth and natural log on the right hand side. So let's take natural log on both sides. Yeah, just take natural log on both sides. This natural log on both sides and this one. Yeah, and if you know a little bit about natural log, this x uh, jump right here, which is really good, and this 4 jump right here. So we can easily write it as maybe the main log property right here. We have like 4 times natural log x equal to x times natural log, natural log 3. Okay, okay. Right now I suggest you to group, let's group these variables on the left hand side because this is a constant, this is a variable that we need to find, this is a variable and this is a constant. So two constant and two variables. Let's group this constant on the left hand side and our variables on the on the right hand side. Let's do this. Let's divide both sides by, by 4. If we divide both sides by 4 it cancels with this one, so we have like natural log x equal to x times natural log 3 and over 4, because we divide in both sides by this 4, from here we cancel this. Right now we still have this x on the right hand side, so let's divide by this x, because we need to group variables on the on the uh, left hand side, yeah? So we have like natural log x over x equal to natural log 3 over over 4, natural log 3 over 4. Ok, right now we have variables on the left hand side, we have our constant on the on the right hand side, so what are we going to do next? It was our first step, but what about our second step? We need to know about Lambert W function, but because it's it's really hard to, to write our x, for example using cross multiplying, this is absolutely impossible, because we have our x in our natural log part, and our x in our numerator, so it's not like an easy question to solve it as, as a cross multiplying, yeah? So let's, let's learn, or let's remember about Lambert W function, and I know a lot of students have difficulties without with this Lambert W function, so I want to say it in simple words. For example, imagine that you have a times e to the power a, that you have this, this expression, yeah? And if you apply Lambert W function from this expression, it is equal only to our a, yeah? So you need to have e, you need to have power, this a, and you need to have this expression right here as a product, yeah? a times e to the power a, and this is equal to the same a as as right here, which is really great, because if we write this expression that we have natural log x over x equal to natural log 3 over over 4, okay, we can easily create Lambert W function right here, because we can easily create our e. Let's, let's look at this x, we have natural log x, and let's write this x as e to the power natural log x yeah, equal to natural log 3 over over 4, okay? So we just write this x as e to the power natural log x. And right now we have this, we, this e, yeah? But we, we need to have this in our numerator, because right here we have our in our numerator, so let's bring this to our numerator. But we need to put minus, yeah? We have like natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x, yeah? equal to natural log 3 over 4. And look closely to this, we have e, we have maybe on the first side the same, but on the second side this is not the same, because we have minus natural log x, right here we have natural log x, but we need to have like e, a and a, so the same two expressions. So let's multiply both sides by minus 1. If you multiply both sides by minus 1, we will have the next, the next expression, we will have like minus natural log x, times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log 3 over over 4. Okay, so we just multiply both sides by minus 1 and of course nothing changed for us. But right now let's look closely to this expression. We have minus natural log x and we have the same expression minus natural log x right here. And this is looks like Lambert W function. This is really good to apply Lambert W function because we have two same same expression. If we apply Lambert W function from this one, 
from this one, we apply lambda w function, we can easily say that lambda w function from this expression, which is absolutely the same as right here, equal to a. But in our case, but in our case, a equal to minus natural log x. So two same elements right here. So we have like minus natural log x equal to lambda w function of minus natural log 3 over over 4. Yeah, minus natural log 3 over 4. Okay, we don't have this e, we don't have one, uh, we don't have a power, we have only minus natural log x, so we can easily express this as our x, because we bring this minus right here, so we write it as x to the power minus 1, and we apply e on both sides, we take e on both sides. Take a look, e to the power natural log x to the power minus 1, yeah, equal to e to the power lambda w function of minus natural log 3 over over 4. Okay, right now, e to the power natural log, we can easily cancel in our mind, so on, as a result, x to the power minus 1, we have on the left hand side, x to the power minus 1 on the left hand side, on the right hand side, we have e to the power lambda w function of minus natural log 3 over 4. Okay, but this is x to the power minus 1. How can we find the exact value of our x? Let's swap this numerator and denominator. So as a result, x equal to 1 over e to the power lambda w function of minus natural log 3 over, over 4. Okay, but we need to know it's really interesting and really important to know about the, the exact value of this x. And I want to mention one really interesting moment, because a lot of students forget about it, because we need to know that lambda w function have these right here indexes. For example, wn, yeah? Lambda w function with index n. For example, this, uh, this lambda w function in this point may have like two or three cases right here, yeah? And let's check it. And I, I don't want to waste your time, I just check it in uh, well, from, uh, well, from Alpha and Lambda W function library, and I find that this <coughs> Lambda W function in this point, of course, exists, which is really great, and all solution I'll check for you in, in, in uh, Lambda W function library, so x first approximately equal to minus 0 0.802, x second equal to 1.516 and x third equal to 7174. Yeah, so this is our three three solution. And as I told before, it's not like one solution. Lambda W function have indexes right here, and of course three cases with Lambda W function, and we will have three three solution, which is which is really great. And it's really interesting to draw a real quick graph right here because. If you draw uh, draw a graph real quick, so we have like <coughs> we have like x to the fourth equal to three to the x. Yeah, we have something like that, and we need to know that x to the fourth power. This is something like parabola. Yeah, we know it. Something like x square and three to the x. This is our exponential function. <coughs> yeah, so from left to right, right here. From left to right, for example, right here right here and it goes right here yeah something like that and if you look closely we have three point of intersection yeah right here x first with the minus sign so it looks like right here we have like one point of intersection minus 0 0.802 right here we have second point of intersection one point 1.516 and in 7 we have the third point of intersection so it looks like these lines intersect approximately right here, so we have third point of intersection, 7.17174, so this line intersect right here, right here, something like that, it intersects in this point. Okay, this is my explanation to this interesting, interesting question, I hope you understand this, maybe you have difficulties with this lambda w function with the indexes you can easily write your your thoughts in a comment and also thank you thank you for watching for for your support i really appreciate it and we can easily see all solutions real quick so we have this question the first step is about natural log second step is about lambda w function and the third step step is about like simplifying steps cross multiplying with with e right here so this is our third step and as a result we have three three solutions three point of intersection which is 
which is really great. So we definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure. Thank you for your time and have a great day.